Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, sisters and brothers, drunks and people who know it's Wednesday. As you may know, it's fall, the time once a year when we put on our sweaters and our scars, pretend to like pumpkin-flavored crap. In a similar way, we now care about Ebola after a white person was infected in Texas, proving once again that the pecking order is American, animals, everything else. Since then, the fear of the disease has been spreading like the plague, let me tell you. Also, midterm congressional elections are in about a week. Did you even know that? Well, it doesn't matter, because we're not here to do news. That's every other program on WTOP. <laughs> we are Sunny Oswego's number one sketch comedy program after 11 p.m. on Wednesday. We are going to slam dunk comedy straight through the uprights from the first to the third period. Home run. <laughs> this is We Go Live. Michigan. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming for breaking news on West 4th Street here in Oswego, where apparently a deranged child attacked his best friend, and the maniac is now locked in a closet. Reporters on the scene, what are you seeing there, Haley? Thank you. Listen, I'm here on West 4th Street in front of the house, and I have the attack child, Billy, here. Can you explain to me what has happened? Okay, well, uh, basically, I was hanging out with my friend Jeff, uh, and I was just eating cereal in my bed, and all of a sudden, he just comes up to me and charges at me. Uh, I mean, he's not really my friend anymore because he was mean to me, so I uh, called him a pain in the ass. Why, why, do you, why did he come after you? Oh, well, you see, he was poking me in the back, and he wanted to play pirate time with me. I, I love pirate time, so obviously I'm going to go and play pirate time. And what exactly is pirate time? Oh, uh, my mom says I'm, I'm never allowed to talk about that again after the incident. Uh, what was the incident? Okay, well basically, um, me and Jeff were hanging out, we are playing pirate time, and normally we climb up to the top of our pirate ship, all the way up there. And uh, he played the captain, and I played the evil pirate, I walk the plank, and then I jump off. Uh, but, uh, why would you go up to that window up there and jump? That's crazy. It's pirate time. Well, it's, it's pirate time. I mean, it's not fair, though, because he's always captain. And I have not once in my life got to be captain. And whenever he falls off the top of the pirate ship, he just he never goes to the hospital. Every time I, I've been there 17 times this month. And it's not fair. Uh, whatever. All he does is fly up to the top with his magical powers, and he flips me off. Uh, whatever. Well, you know, that's why I'm doing it, though. I want to fly like him. And he said if I jump off a couple of times, I'll be able to fly with my wings. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering why I don't have wings, it's because my mom doesn't love me. <laughs> that is horrible. Yeah, I don't have connection. Billy, what is going on? Who are all these people? Were you trying to fly again? Mother, let me get this in the mic. Okay. Mother, whenever I'm alone, 
You think that I want to jump out of windows. Well, you know what? I've grown up. I'm not nine years old anymore. I'm 10 years old, all right? I'm a responsible boy, and you need to recognize this. I put him in the closet. All the cops are here. They told me that they're going to find him. Officers, keep working. OK. I'm hearing now that there's no sign of this maniac. We are going over here to speak to the mother now. Ma'am, are you aware this maniac has been in your house tormenting your son? What? There's a maniac in my house? My little chihuahua Pepe is still in there. Billy, what have you done? Oh, okay, no. That's right, okay, I get it. Now, now you care about what I'm saying. I understand, no, no, no. It takes a entire camera crew for you to get my attention. I don't understand what this is all about. Okay, you know what? I've been telling you for 10 years that this boy is real, and for 10 years you've been telling me to stop talking about him. Well, you know what, look where we are now, mother. Oh, I see. Did he happen to tell you who this maniac is? Oh, why, yes, he told us his name was Jeff. Oh my God, Billy, how many times do I have to tell you? You have the whole neighborhood and the police out here again? Don't you think this should have stopped when your father left because of it? Okay, number one, dad left because you were terrible in bed. <laughs> Jeff told me, okay, he said you were very stiff, you had no passion, no eye contact. What man would want that? I couldn't tell you, okay? <laughs> it's not, it doesn't make sense. You, you know, he said the only thing that was stiff in that room was a freaking log, and that was you. <laughs> a little joke about my father's erectile dysfunction as well. <laughs> Is this live? I'm afraid so. Hey, 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 Billy, so, wow, I haven't seen this many cops since the last part of time. Oh, okay, okay, now you could just walk through walls, all right? You get a new power every month, like it's a freaking power period or something, right? <laughs> yeah, and they're as strong as your mom's period, super bitchy and bloody. <laughs> Wait, what is going on right now? Uh, uh, did he just say power period? Uh, what was that, Haley? You know what? You've done it this time. Okay, look, you've done, you, you exposed yourself to all these people in the entire world, okay, Jeff? So you know what you're gonna have to pay? Officers, grab him now! I have had enough. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> he's, he's right there. He's right in front of you. I, Look. I can't even begin to explain what is happening right now. But this child is obviously on some sort of drugs, and we need to get him to a facility ASAP. That's what he wants you to think. He wants you to think that I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. He's right there. Look at him. He's got red shoes on. There's an entire. Look, it's a person. It's a person right there. Anchor, we're going to throw it back to you for a minute. We apologize to our viewers back at home. Uh, police are now calling off the search. Okay, Billy, go ahead. Show the entire city what I have to put up with. Now everyone's going to think I'm crazy. Should. Oh, come on. He's right there. <laughs> Woo!
lakes and kids, it's up to us to keep our lakes and streams clean and beautiful. We've been polluting the water with all kinds of junk like paper, cans, and gooey gunk. It looks ugly and it's killing our fish and ducks. Please don't throw junk in the water. Give a hoot. Don't pollute. In the city or in the woods, come keep America looking good. G'day mates, I'm Feats Merman. Today we're going to be looking at the most vicious, rare and dangerous predator in the world. That's right, I'm talking about crocs. Well, no, not the crocs you're thinking of. Those are, see those are the beautiful crocs. I'm talking about the gnarly crocs. Here in Oswego you can find many different species of crocs. Uh, red crocs, blue crocs, one crocs, two crocs there, silver crocs, sparkly crocs, big black crocs, cheap crocs, pay less crocs, heaps and heaps of crocs. Each and every one is unique in its own beautiful yet dangerous way. Like, uh, look at this one right here. There he is. Oh, this is a pretty one. This one's pretty. Oh, I think he's angry. You're angry, aren't you? Oh, you're all right, mate. You're all right. What the hell are you doing? Oh, talk off! Oh, this is brilliant. Oh, oh, there he goes, he's escaping. Oh, remember, ladies and gentlemen, do not try this at home. When you confront a croc in the wild, in its natural habitat, don't come near it, especially when it's feeding. Like that one, back there. Look at this gorgeous mama croc. Look, look, see, I'm not gonna get too close to it, because there's nothing more dangerous than a mama croc protecting her young. Look at her. Look at her face. She's saying, oh, don't go after me babies. Don't mess with me. <laughs> the mama crocs are the most aggressive animal in the clothing wear kingdom. I'm going to leave her alone. I'm not going to mess with her. Uh, see, these are dangerous animals, friends, but they're still disappearing. And we have to be aware of the environment and the creatures that live in it. Oh my god, look at that one! Oh, seems we have a big bad alpha male croc right here. Let's see if we can get a closer look. Oh, he's tentative, but he's aggressive, I can tell. He's an aggressive one. Oh, oh, oh. My glasses. Dude, dude, what the hell is wrong with you? Oh my god! I got him, I got him! Look at this one. Look at the size of him. It's a size of 10. Men's. Oh, you're a big boy, aren't you? He is beautiful. Look at these big holes right here. You can tell he's one of the more dominant males. He's definitely been in a lot of fights, defending his territory and fighting over Sheila's. Oh, oh, oh. He's fighting back. You're all right, mate. I'm going to have to hold him really tight right now. Oh, he wants me to let him go. And I will. But first, Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look at uh, these straps right here. Oh, predators need big, sturdy straps like this to capture its prey. Helps him hold his meat. Oh, really tight in his death grip. That's why these animals are so dangerous. Dangerous! Oh, oh. I'm gonna let him go. Oh, you're all right, mate. You're all right. You got problems, dude. Well, uh... Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me in my adventures. Watch next week when I beat some... Oh! Oh, God! Oh! Oh, they're back! Oh! 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 It's a stampede! Oh! oh. Mama, help me. This has been Feats Merman, Croc Hunter, only on the Undiscovery Channel.
Oh. <laughs> Gary, that was so filling. <laughs> but baby, those were only the breadsticks. We still need to order our meal. <laughs> <laughs> I killed myself. Oh, waiter, waiter. <laughs> oh, sorry, I apologize for the wait. Uh, did you enjoy your breadsticks? <laughs> Well, let's just say we are ready for the next course no, of all right. food. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what can I get for you guys? Uh, would you like to go first? Oh, I would love to go first, since, I mean, you usually go first to my overstuffed build of air. <laughs> I'll have the chicken parm. All right, one chicken parmesan. And for you, sir? I think I'll have a eggplant parmigiana. <laughs> all right, one eggplant parmigiana. Will that be all for you two? Oh, yep, that's it. All right, I'll be back for more breadsticks in a moment. Have a good one. Thank you. <laughs> that was funny. Was that a joke? Oh, what are you talking about, my sugar bunny bun two ninety nine Burger King breakfast croissant? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just, I just thought it was funny the way you ordered your eggplant parmigiana. Okay, darling. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, you're right, I'm sorry. I've just been a little stressed out with work. Okay, well, you know what, baby, baby, just relax. You seem tense. I am a little tense. <laughs> but, you know, tomato, tomato. Right, yes, tomato, tomato. Well, boo boo, it's all right. You know what? Let's just enjoy this nice dinner out, okay? I mean, oh, I have an idea. Why don't What's we your idea? We should order Pono We Are A. Oh, is that a type of wine? What are you talking about? We get it every time we go out. Oh, of course. You know Noir. Yes, tomato, tomato. <laughs> <laughs> potato, potato. <laughs> Tomato, tomato? <laughs> Why, yes, I did, you busy, busy bus boy. <laughs> uh, I don't see what the problem is. Problem? <laughs> this is a joke, right? I'm being pranked? Where's Ashton? This is funny, right? This is ha 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 it's for when you go to a store and you say, hey baby, would you like some Lay's or Doritos? And then she says, that's all right, honey bun, tomato, tomato. You just use it like that. <laughs> but you're not Isabel, you're just a bus boy. <laughs> exactly, what about potato, potato? Am I the only one that doesn't get what's going on here? John, what the hell are you doing? There's some very important VICs over there. It's VIPs! <laughs> Not VICs? No, no, um, what I'm talking about is, uh, no, not VIP. What are you all yeah, talking I... about? You're all crazy, every single one of you. <laughs> John, let's get out of here. I'm going back to my job, Pasa Guard, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have good luck with that. Jeez, don't you know what I'm talking about? VIP, very important customer. I thought everyone knew that. Everybody should. Some people, though. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Um, can I help you to yodel wrapped in plastic with anything else? No, no, no. Yes, actually, I'd, I'd like some more wooder. Some water? Anything some water. Oh, yeah, just some water. Some water on the water.
so, Johnny, good to see you again, of course. Uh, how are you feeling today? Better than last week, I hope. Yeah, I'm feeling much better, Doc. Uh, wonderful, Johnny. Good to hear. Uh, now, let's begin today's session. Um, last week we made some good progress, uh, uh, but I think we should try to discuss your parents a bit more. Uh, uh, is that all help? Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try, Doc. Wonderful. So, uh, last time we spoke, you told me about your father. So, um, he had a bit of a temper, it says here. Why don't you tell me more about him? Okay, yeah, here. Uh, well, it all, it all started. <laughs> John, uh, how about this? Uh, some doctors in the UK recently re uh, showed that uh, it's easier to sing about different difficult experiences than to uh, talk about them. Why don't you try that? Um, okay, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not very good, but... Okay, okay, here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently to the pub. Daddy's had a lot to drink and mommy's had enough. <laughs> Great job, Johnny. Uh, uh, it's, I'm glad you're opening up. Uh, keep, uh, keep going, I guess. Uh, tell me about your mother now. A twinkle, twinkle, breaking glass. <laughs> Mommy's kicking daddy's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Threw his body down the stairs. <laughs> Hit him with pans, bricks, and chairs. So you, your parents yeah. seem like they had a few issues during the marriage. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. That's probably very hard on you. Did they end up divorcing? Happy marriage crumbling, crumbling, crumbling. Happy marriage crumbling. <laughs> Dad is drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's gather around the strippers and sing our stripper song And S-C-R-I-P-P-E-R, it's so edgy song And if you don't think that dad can spend more singles, then you're wrong He spent all my money in a thong! Johnny, you okay? <laughs> Rock by Johnny on the treetop When daddy gets home, the fun will all stop the belt will come off, streaming will start, and Dad will come Johnny, missing his heart. Oh. Johnny? <laughs> Your dad sounds like a complete jackass. <laughs> oh. I mean, this guy like a great a douchebag, am I right? Uh, and your mom sounds like an abusive witch. Uh, uh, throwing your dad down the stairs. Oh, God. Oh, did your mom ever hurt you anymore? Head, shoulder, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulder, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. <laughs> oh. Isa, I'm starting to understand why they sent you here. Oh, let's try to talk about something happier from your childhood, okay? Um, did you have any pets growing up? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Daddy wants to bang puppy. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Thank God it's the dog, not me. Well, I'm definitely calling the ESPCA as soon as this <coughs> session is over. <coughs> Sarah McLaughlin's not going to be happy about this. Oh. Uh, all right, kid. Oh, jeez. Uh, does the story get any worse? I mean, I know I'm not getting any sleep tonight, so just throw it all. Daddy has some brass knuckles, brass knuckles, brass knuckles. Daddy has some brass knuckles. He used them on my legs. <laughs> Johnny, I cannot help you anymore. I am out of here. Little messed up Johnny running through my mind, scooping up my sanity and leaving it behind. Down came the bad Johnny and he says, you're a bad boy, Johnny, and hurt the camera back.
All right, before we get started, let's just make sure that everybody's here. Uh, Dolores? Hi. Uh, Butler? Wait, are you our Butler? <laughs> no, I'm from Two Doors Down. Oh, you're Steve's Butler. I like Steve. Um, Winston? Yep, here. Okay. And um, <clears throat> Killer Assassin? Oh, that's wrong. It's pronounced Kyler Assassin. Kyler Assassin. All right, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, uh, Moving on, as most of you know, uh, me and my brother Gerald have set out a very large lottery for all of you, and you are the final four. Um, and I'm sure you're wondering, why would you be giving away a huge jackpot? <laughs> well, for us, it's really a tax write-off. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, my brother Gerald's currently in the kitchen, slipping a piece of paper into one of four cookies. Whichever one of you four receives that cookie is the winner of five million dollars. Uh, Harold? Yes. Your brother's been there for like 20 minutes now. Should someone go check in on him? Hey, Dolores, uh, you can't vote, so why don't you check him in the kitchen? Ha, you can guys laugh now, but I bet about 1,460 days I'll be w voting right alongside with you guys. Yeah, right, just go check in the kitchen, thanks. I didn't even know she could count that high. <laughs> <laughs> no! What did you do? Break a nail? Gerald's dead. Guys, Gerald's really tired. He likes to nap on the kitchen table. I'm sure he's fine. Oh, crap, he's really dead in there. <laughs> No one anything to say? I, Kylie Assassin, did not kill Gerald with the rusty knife in the kitchen. <laughs> That's good to know, thanks. <laughs> that was really weird. I personally think it was Colonel Mustard in the billiard room with a revolver. That doesn't even make remote sense. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, first of all, there's no Colonel Mustard, there's no billiard room, so get your head out of your ass. And second of all, I will not rest until I find out which one of you killed my brother. Isn't it a little suspicious that Kylie yelled he didn't kill Gerald before we even determined how he was killed? Uh, no, I don't think it's weird at all. You know, everyone just empty your pockets. Want to look? Uh, oh, ho, ho, you got a knife and a bloody rag. What, you gonna make steak or something? Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, is that sure? And no problem. Uh, Dolores, what do you got? Um, well, what's that in your hand, Dolores? No right. <laughs> <laughs> You know, whatever doors, just shut up. Uh, Winston, what do you have? Just this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing with a wallet? This, it's merely to carry my money around. Do you know who has wallets? Who? Isis. Who the hell is Isis? Not Isis, Isis, like the iceberg, like that big bad guy that fled the Titanic. Oh. Anyway, that's not even the worst part. This is. <gasps> merely a Trohan. I see no problem with this. Uh, why do you have that strong accent? Why not just call it? Trojan. Do not remember the Trojan War, Butler? Too soon, man. Too <laughs> soon. You know what? It doesn't even matter what they're called. The big important issue is you're carrying a wall and pretending like it's not a big deal. Uh, guys, Kyler had a bloody knife and a rag. And you're worried about his stupid wallet? Oh, sorry, I must be allergic to stupid. Kyler <laughs> 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 said he didn't do it, and that makes perfect sense. That wallet still concerns me, though. All right, well, obviously looking at objects isn't helping anything here, so let's go with alibis. Each one of us has left the room once in the past 20 minutes, so let's figure out where we all went. Butler? I had to return home to get my master quiz bubble bath. <laughs> Steven does love his bubble bath, am I right? Yes, all. <laughs> Anyways, Dolores, what'd you do? Um, I went to the bathroom. Um, Dolores, there's only urinals on the first floor bathroom. I'm not saying it was easy, it was just... <laughs> That is absolutely repulsive. Don't step near me at all, please. Um, uh, Kyler, we know you didn't do it. We have to ask everyone anyway. Uh, so what'd you do? Oh, well, I went into the kitchen. I grabbed a knife and I ki I carved up something. A little bloody. I, I washed it off with a rag and, as you saw, I put it in my pocket so anyone can see it. I don't want to make a scene. Are you serious? You must be pulling on my knickers. A bloody knife and a rag and you believe that he didn't uh, uh, do uh, it? First of all, no one ever wants to pull your knickers, so just leave them where they are. <laughs> Second of all, Kyler, that makes perfect sense. Thank you. Thanks so much. Now, all that's left is Winston. What did you do? I went to the bathroom not the same time Dolores did. She didn't even vouch for my alibi. Yeah, he's right. I saw him come in. But Dolores, Dolores' opinion doesn't matter. We all know that. Therefore, Winston has no alibi. I can't keep asking questions all night. It's stupid. <laughs> but you only asked two questions. You know what? I have a better idea. Let's put this to a vote. Don't figure out who did it. I Don't know, you I dare even think you can vote, Dolores. <laughs> Us men will vote on the issue. Fair enough. All right, who votes with Kyler? 
Doesn't, doesn't matter. Uh, so no one votes for Kyler. I knew it wasn't you. Now who votes for Winston? What? It wasn't me! Why would I kill Gerald? Take him away, boys. Right. What? Are I'm being framed! I'm framed! Are you kidding me? I'm framed! No! This is the last time I use Craigslist for a lottery. Man, not so much time and money on my hands. What should I do? Work on women's suffrage? Man, I'll just buy a new yacht. <laughs> Go get drinks with Jennifer Lawrence, have a conversation with Christopher Walken, well now you can. If you donate $50 to the Foundation to Change Celebrity Children Names, your name will be placed in a raffle that will be picked at random, and you will be able to eat with any celebrity you would like. Here are some of the past winners with the celebrity of their choice. Who are you talking to? What? You know, I don't believe what they say about you. I think you're beautiful and smart. Ew, what is this? See, my mom always told me, actually with my dad, same guy, he goes to my head. And um, he said, you know, a cow, it, like the spots, it's like a snowflake, you know? You never get one you, you the same pattern of spots. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And you know, this roast beef, it's probably going to give me a, a lot of gas. I, I really do. OMG, I love jello shots. I just can't stop taking them. I'm addicted. I need them. Why are you so perfect? <sighs> oh, that one was hanging back there for a while. Why can't I be you? Holy pickles, look at these tiny pumpkins. I just love them. They're like shrunken down pumpkins. If I could just take one home, my life would be complete. You could come home with me. Uh, thanks for inviting me to this uh, lovely dinner. I'm glad to be here. Not a problem. Thank you, Mr. President. No, thank you. <laughs> no, no, seriously, seriously, thank you. No, th thank you. Mr. President, thank you, okay? I think, I think we can set that aside now. Um, so since we're both here, can I ask you a few questions? 
Yeah, absolutely. All right, so what do you plan on doing about ISIS? Uh, well, you know, uh, I, I appreciate America's uh, patience. Um, I'm sure things will get better in due time. Uh, so, Mr. President, what do you plan on doing about the recent photo celebrity hack? Uh, well, look, uh, my fellow American, uh, there, there's only so much water on this planet uh, and air. Mr. President, are you having a stroke? Cheese and rice, Ms. M Ms. Malia's calling me. Hold on. What's up, Ranger? You look like you're in a mild panic. Oh, well, you know, I, I suppose I am, but I gotta tell you some exciting news. What? Well, spit it out. Oh, I, I can't just tell you. Boy, why not? Oh, why didn't you say? Sheriff, we caught the bandit red-handed. He's in our hands. What do you mean? Sheriff, we got Steve the Snitch. Steve the Snitch? Yeah, Steve the Snitch. Boy, that's good news. How'd you get him? Well, it turns out that's a pretty small town. He lives right across the street. <laughs> you know, I knew we should have checked there. Yeah. Uh, see, we went, it's always the last place you look, isn't it? We went to the, the saloon, the pub, uh, Jerry's Bar and Grill. I mean, we went even to the casino, you know, where all the one-armed bandits usually are. He has two arms. <laughs> Of course. That's probably why he wasn't there. <laughs> uh, oh, it's, it's secu S Secretary Deputy Brian. Phone call for the Marshal. Who? The Marshal of Tyne Evil? Yeah, well, see, see, I, I'm the Sheriff and my name is Marshal, uh, but I'm not the Marshal. See, I'm the Sheriff. <laughs> He's right. I'm a Sheriff, too. Well, you know, whatever. I mean, he is Marshal, and that's his name. <laughs> what? <laughs> you are hardly a sheriff, Ranger. You don't need to be involved. What? I am too. You are not, Ranger. How many times do I have to tell you? This town ain't big enough for the two of us. I know that. That's why we only got one hat. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's Deputy Secretary Frank. He's calling to say that we don't have enough money for two typewriters. Well, then you two are just gonna have to share the one we got. But two people in the same position, especially one that has to do with something as important as law enforcement, sharing a tool that makes it necessary to perform said obligation as a civil servant, that's just plain ridiculous. <laughs> Where does he get off criticizing this fine establishment? Who does he think he is insulting Tiny Hill? Ranger, how many times have I told you this town is called Tiny Evil? See, we used to be called Tiny Evil Bird, but uh, we had some syllable layoffs a few years ago. <laughs> are y'all fixing to interrogate me or something? Who is that? I don't know. Ask him. Who are you? I ain't killing. It's Dave the Snitch. We'll go bring him in then, you dingus. All right, I'm on it. I need the hat to open the door. <laughs> Damn these budget cuts. All right, Sheriff, let's shoot. Wait, wait no, wait, we have, we have to like tie him up or something, right? Um, boy, stand up for a second. Uh, we couldn't afford any rope this year, so, okay. uh, you know, just pretend you're tied up if you would. Excellent. That'd be great. You're a sport, you're a real sport, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, let's see, first things first. Steve the Snitch, now boy, how'd you get that name? I ain't telling. Damn, he's good. <laughs> All right, now, where were you on the night of July 8th, the evening of the big Tinyville bank robbery? Well, I could have been preparing the getaway horses and stuff, but I ain't telling. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, uh, Ranger, you ask him a question. All right, I'm on it. Steve, you think you're a tough guy, don't you, huh? <laughs> well, what did you get for Christmas two years ago? <laughs> 
I ain't tell. Ranger, ask him something pertinent to the case, please. All right, fine, 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 I'm on it. No more Mr. Nice Guy now. What did you get for Christmas last year? <laughs> I ain't telling. Serious questions, Ranger. This is a high-end establishment. Do not make a fool of me. All right, fine. That's all you had to say. Steve, what do you want for Christmas this year? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what was that for? Why are you asking about Christmas gifts? Oh, because he's my neighbor, and I don't want to get him something he already has. <laughs> Ranger, we are not going to get anywhere in this kind of attitude, all right? What? Oh. What? Marshall, what are you doing? Shut up, boy. You ain't wearing the hat no more. <laughs> oh, I... Steven Theodore Snitchowski. We can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. What do you want? I, I, I ain't telling. Marsh, you gotta calm down. Steve's gonna pee his pants. Give me that. Don't you dare touch the hat. No. No. Oh, we got it. Oh, I got that. I'm going down that temporary. I got it. Oh, boy. Boy, I was in a dark place. Don't ever let me go back there. Oh, no. I promise. I promise. I what? Where's the hat? <laughs> well, looks like, looks like I'm the sheriff now, boys. <laughs> sheriff Ranger, why did you take his gun from him? Who? You, the sheriff, Sheriff Ranger. Oh, why ain't the sheriff no more? Oh, God, boy, why did you take the gun from him when you were the sheriff? I didn't want him to shoot me. We can't afford life insurance. Hands up, boys, start walking. Where's he gonna take us? Where are you taking us? I ain't telling. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Hello there. My name <laughs> Hello there. Um my name is Liz Collins. 
And I'm Sarah Benson, and you're watching Weekend in Oz on We Go Live. This past week, Scotland almost gained their independence. Here in the States, that's what we like to call pulling a Texas. <laughs> <laughs> One woman spent over $50,000 to become a life-size sex doll. At the time, she must not have realized that objectifying women is something that society does for free. <laughs> Last month, President Obama's credit card was declined while at a restaurant dining with the First Lady. It was fine, Michelle paid for the dinner, but Barack ended up eating out twice that night. <laughs> Hurricane Anna! Hurricane Anna will be brushing past tropical regions and bringing strong storms. Also, Hurricane Anal will be plowing through the southern regions. <laughs> A Democratic politician in Kansas says that he was quote unquote at the wrong place at the wrong time when he was caught in a strip club. Ironically, the same logic could be applied about being a Democratic politician in Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> Pot infused pizza sauce is on its way to marijuana dispensaries everywhere. Stoners are willfully anticipating a Hawaiian pizza called the Pineapple Express. <laughs> The youngest self-made female billionaire in the United States happens to be a college dropout. To be fair, she does sell a buttload of drugs. <laughs> in attempts to improve travel behaviors, Chinese Central Television released an ad with giant pandas defacing property, littering, and urinating in public. A U.S. version is in production featuring enormous pigs in uniforms being cordial to black teenagers. <laughs> a man was found smuggling 51 turtles beneath his clothing, and now the question on everyone's mind is, is he turtly enough for the turtle club? <laughs> <laughs> Japan's first bar devoted to female masturbation opened this week. A bar devoted to female masturbation seems pretty fitting in Japan, considering the fact that their national flag looks like a giant red period. <laughs> <laughs> a funeral home in Michigan is offering a new drive through viewing service for mourners on the go. Coming soon is a drop box option to dump the corpses of those relatives you don't really care about. A group of researchers found <laughs> a group of researchers found a turtle in distress and performed a modified mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation technique to save its life. Over a glass of wine and an embarrassing intervention, the turtle finally joined Match.com. A Japanese sex doll that dispenses drinks out of its breasts hit the markets yesterday. Creators say that the, for the most realistic effect, use milk. <laughs> <laughs> Painter David Huggins recently made the claim that the reason so much of his work has aliens in it is because he lost his virginity to one. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by that line of logic, Georgia O'Keeffe apparently lost her virginity to a giant vagina-shaped flower. <laughs> After a lengthy court battle, a Frenchman was finally allowed to marry his stepmother last week, which gives me hope for me and my hot cousin Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Apple faces criticism after the new iPhone 6 Plus is proven to bend with applied pressure, though Apple CEO Tim Cook commented, there's nothing wrong with a little curvature. <laughs> A zookeeper in the UK recently started giving sea otter sushi, but he omitted the fortune cookie when sea otters became listed as endangered. <laughs> the owner of domain name Ebola.com hopes to sell it for $150,000. Like the disease itself, he will probably make a killing. <laughs> Bravo stars Teresa and Joe Giudice were sentenced to prison for tax fraud. She received a shorter sentence, as did her forehead. <laughs> Channing Tatum was quoted in an interview recently saying, his stint as a stripper was a gift to his career, allowing him to connect with all types of people, particularly in his new film, where he cures cancer by shaking his ass. <laughs> Well, that's all the desk jokes that we have for you tonight. Uh, make sure you turn into Weekend in Oz on WTOP 10. Um, that'll be not this Monday, but next Monday. Um, we're going to take a quick break, but stay tuned for more hilarity from We Go Live. Thank you. Are you there, Jesus? It's me, Liz. I'm not sure if you can hear me or if I'm just talking to myself here. My child, I am listening. Oh my god! Okay, now, hold on. <sighs> G. 
Jesus. My, my name is Jesus. God's my dad. Oh, right. Sorry. What can I do for you? Well, I'm kind of at a loss for words right now, to be honest. All right. Uh, hurry it up. All right. There's a lot of people in this world, and I, I, <laughs> I have to do this for so many of them. Okay. Sorry. This is a bit awkward for me. I mean, saying my problems to your face. Usually I rely on the anonymous feature of prayer. Liz, um, sorry to break the news to you, but I can see you at all times. Like, there's not a moment in the day where you think you're by yourself, because I'm, I'm looking at you, so I know about the herpes. Oh, I, uh... Oh, and the shoplifting underwear from Walmart, which... <laughs> I'm sorry, do you have any standards? I was in a bind, Jesus. I don't know what to say. I didn't know you were watching. My child. You're an idiot. I see literally everything. You see all of this? I run this sh I am the big brother, okay? So... <laughs> I know how many times you've Google searched uh, yeast infections. Um, <laughs> I know how many times you've Google searched shirtless Barack Obama. Uh, actually, I know everything in your Google search history. All right, all right. Liz, this was just a test. I love you with all of my heart and will do whatever I can to protect you. Did I pass? Well, Liz, let's just say the Messiah's about to spread the great sea like Moses. Okay. Thank you everyone for watching. We really had heaps of fun making the show tonight and we really hope that you had fun too. Or at least caught a couple of jokes here and there between rounds of kings in your dorm room. I'm looking at you, Onondaga. Seriously, it's still Wednesday. Thanks, especially to all of our actors and our writers and every single member of the crew who made this possible and kept it from being a train wreck and nothing more than a short derailment at worst. Um, special, special thanks to all my friends who are watching this in Waterbury, hopefully, maybe somewhere else, um, and to my mom, because even though she's usually asleep at 11, she birthed me, and that is probably the second best thing that's ever happened to me. Uh, number one is Famous Bulls at Late Night. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, <laughs> you guys are good today. I mean, yeah, seriously. 
famous bulls that he's born for. Now, thank you for watching, and please join us again next episode. If you want to be involved with WeGo Live, uh, the meetings are Sunday at 5 in room 242 in the Campus Center. Next uh, Sunday. Not next this Sunday, Sunday, next Sunday. So, good night from the WeGo Live crew. Take care. I love you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>